Hey, what's up, guys? It is me, African Hair Guy. I haven't done a video like this in quite a while, and um, it's just because I've been really busy, and then I also got caught up in the whole live streaming situation. But, um, yeah, today I wanted to just briefly talk about single strand knots. It's a question that I get quite a bit on my live streams and just from people in general. And um, in the past, in my experience, I didn't really focus or trip too much about single strand knots when I had hair. Um, but over the years, I have observed natural hair and its behaviors. I have seen single strand knots in some of my clients. Um, and I've just been observing like the how it's occurred. Um, and and just been paying attention basically. And what I've come to notice is that when it comes to single strand knots, and for those of you who don't know, single strand knots are just the little nose that can sometimes appear on hair strands. It typically occurs towards the ends of the hair. Um, but it's literally like a little like bump or like it feels like a little knot on a single strand of hair. And for the longest time, a lot of people have said that single strand knots are caused by, well, it sounds like it the name describes where the single strand literally forms a knot onto itself and forms that little node onto the strand. Now that is true for some people who, especially for those who have really fine, um, really tightly coily hair. Um, but sometimes you still experience these fairy knots or single strand knots on hair that's not so coily. Like for instance, when I grew out my, my beard, um, the first time around, because I shaved it off and grew it back in this time around. But the first time, I noticed that I would always, 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 always get those fairy knots or single strand knots on the ends of my beard. And it was the most, it, it was just so aggravating. You have this smooth, luscious beard, and then bam, you just run into these little nodes at the end of your strands. And it just feels horrible. Um, so for the longest time, I was trying to figure out, hold on, I'm out of focus. Okay, for the longest time, I was trying to figure out why my beard hairs were experiencing so many fairy knots or single strand knots. And number one, you can see my, my hairs aren't extremely curly or coily at all. It's just kind of kinky and textured. Um, so the whole concept of the strand forming a knot onto itself just didn't seem to be what was causing my issue with my facial hair. Um, so... Now that I look back on things, and I, like I said, I've observed my clients and their hair routines um, over a period of time over the years, I've come to realize that I believe single strand knots can also be formed by um, really harsh detangling, either with brushes or combs or afro picks or whatever the case is. If you think about. Just take a moment and think about, if you experience a single strand knots or a fairy knots, think about how you go about um, brushing and combing and detangling your hair. Um, if you go through and you're detangling and you hear that that little pop, you know what I'm saying? When you you can literally hear and feel your strand pop as you're brushing and combing, I think that is what is causing a lot of these single strand knots. I think what's happening is when we're brushing and combing and we're doing it so vigorously, so quickly, we're not really paying attention. We're, we're activating the, our curl elasticity where our hair stretches and it pulls back into itself. And sometimes if you do this either when the hair is dry or not, not properly moisturized or you just do it excessively rough, sometimes it'll stretch the strand out. And I think that popping sound is when the hair kind of pops back and it kind of forms like this little node on the strands of hair. I say that because I don't have single strand knots on my facial hair anymore. I'm a little bit more conscientious about how I, I handle my facial hair now. And it's really because before I had this scraggly beard that just wasn't full all throughout. And I kept trying to figure out how, why was my hair just constantly thinning out. And I think it was because I was doing a lot of dry combing. Just kind of forcing the comb and to pick through my beard. Um... Also, I wouldn't moisturize it daily, and it would be really, really dry. If your hair tends to be dry, I can see how you would be prone to having um, fairy knots or single-strand knots. But now that I uh, 
I moisture, I cleanse my facial hair daily. I moisturize it with a leave-in conditioner. I seal it in with my nature's blessing um, hair grease. And I don't have that issue anymore. Um, and so the, I think the best way to combat or, or minimize, I'll say, the best way to minimize fairy knots or single share knots is to make sure that your hair is properly moisturized. Um, make sure that you are only manipulating your hair um, when it is either damp or moisturized. Um, also, avoiding heat. Heat can sometimes be a, a prime factor as to why your hair is experiencing those nodes or those um, those fairy knots as well. I have heard a theory that, you know, the heat can sometimes boil the water in your hair and cause it to expand and that causes the little node to appear. Um, what else? There was something else. Um, if you are working with, if you find yourself working really hard, experiencing a lot of resistance, detangling and working through your hair, consider figure detangling more to get more of the tangles out before you go in with your tool or your brush or your comb. Um, also, the section might be too large for you. You might be taking on too much hair all at once. Try to minimize how much hair you're detangling or working with so that you don't put a lot of stress on your strands of hair. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much it. If you have single strand knots, the only way to get rid of it is to trim it off. If it's really excessive, especially towards the ends, you might just need a really good trim. Um, just pay attention to it if you do have it and it's all over the place. Um, sometimes you can live with the, the single strand knots. Maybe just try to minimize its occurrence by, you know, how you're going through your hair journey going forward. Um... In some cases, I have seen it become a hindrance for some people's hair, and other times it didn't do anything. So it just really ultimately depends. So just observe your hair over a period of time. Just be conscientious about what you're doing, what you're using, and how you're going about doing your hair. So that is pretty much it. If you have any other questions, or if you want to share your experience with single share knots in the comment section below, I would love to hear it. Um, so yeah, until the next one, be blessed, guys. Thanks for watching.